everybody, Alex here. We're midweek, it's Wednesday at Fishbone Ministries. We have everyone serving here. Right now we're digging, they've had some water in their basement in one of their buildings, so we're digging a French drain. We've had just lots of great help. And it's been awesome just serving our backyard this week, serving our community, just uh, trying to be a light in our community. ministry coordinator. Um, I came here about a year and a half ago from Midland, Michigan, and I decided to serve full-time here. Um, so Midland Evangelical Free Church from Midland, Michigan has been coming to uh, serve at Fishman Ministries for about 12 or 13 years. Um, we have been a part of this ministry um, and what they're doing in the community for a long time. and. Fishbone has really understood how living the gospel is right in your backyard, right here. And that is what I think has drawn us back year after year. And um, it has impacted me, it has impacted Ashlyn, because we've been here for a year and have de dedicated our summer or our life to here. My name is Ashlyn Gorman. I am from Midland, Michigan. I moved here for the summer in May and I will be leaving next month. Um, I will be going into my junior year of college, so I'm only staying here for the summer. So I first came to Butler when I was a sixth grader um, seven years ago. And throughout those seven years, I have come back five times, um, three times as a middle schooler and twice as a student leader for the middle school trip. And each time I've come here, God has just broken my heart more and more for the community, for the kids here, and just everyone around this area. Um, he has just really worked in my heart just to have a passion for the work that Fishbone has done and for the work of just loving the people in this area. I really enjoy serving down here at Fishbone because I know that the impact that I'm doing here and the digging and the the working in the community is really going to have an impact on this whole area for the future. I enjoy serving at Fishbone because of the children that are all in here and just being able to um, show love for them, this type of love that they probably don't get. I mean, you just look at this community that we're in and there's just an incredible need to, ch uh, to show them our Father's love uh, in a just a situation where uh, there aren't so many fathers around and we can uh, just do our part and become build this fabric in a community where the, these kids can come together and see God's love. Many of you know, but if you don't know, our church has been a long time supporter of Fishbone Ministries. They started in the island area of Butler in 2002 by Tom and Sandy Bowser. And uh, they've been partnered and connected with our church for a really long time. And uh, it's just been awesome to hear their heart behind um, why they wanted to start it, just their passion for reaching people for Jesus and just sharing his love and, and truly being a light in the community, being a light in dark areas. And that's what they've done from the very beginning. And that's uh, just a special thing to be a part of. We've been just praying uh, all week and really thanking God all week for uh, the opportunity just to take part in that and what he's doing in this area. And uh, it's been a special thing. We've been able to do some, some work projects, uh, some manual labor type things, but also spending time with the kids in this community that, that have a relationship with Fishbone. And uh, doing it safely with everything going on, and we've been able to be outside um, and just playing game, you know, games like water balloon games and uh, capture the flag and just building relationships with them. And there's just, there really is a need here. I just want to encourage, um, as there are many in our church who already are connected, but encourage if you're not connected, uh, or don't know much about Fishbone that, you know, to get involved, get connected. I came down in February literally to have time, Tom sign a, a paper and then he said, why don't you stick around for a little bit? It just happened to be a night that they were having one of their youth group meetings in the evening after school. And he said, why don't you stay around to see what we do? And I just stayed for a little bit and uh, kind of wrecked my heart for what they do here. And since then, um, I thought, you know, at that point, we actually had a change in plans kind of abruptly in what we were going to do for our summer mission trip. Uh, right around that week, I found out that it just wasn't going to work out with what we had planned. And, um, you know, I met with Tom and we talked and, and uh, Anna, who's, who's the missionary here and that, that our church also supports. And, you know, we met and talked about what we could do this summer. 
And I just thought, you know, it's just incredible to hear that there's groups that come from Michigan, that come from other states to serve in our backyard. And, um, you know, we do have people serving, but there's so much more we can do for our neighbors. And our theme of the week, um, you can see on the back of the shirt, is uh, Paul in Galatians quoting Jesus saying, you to love your neighbor as yourself. And um, Galatians, the verse before that is Galatians 5.13 which says that we've been called to live in freedom, but don't use that freedom for uh, selfish desires. Use that freedom to serve one another. And, and then he followed that with, the, with this verse 14, quoting Jesus saying, we're called to love our neighbor as ourselves. And uh, we're just grateful for the opportunity that we have to do that this summer. Even with the virus, everything going on, you know, if we had something planned out of town, it just wouldn't have been able to happen. So I, I believe God's hand was in this planning um, before we were that we can build this connection and not just this week, but moving forward as well. So it's been a, a blessing to be a part of and to thank you guys for your prayers and for your support.